Hey guys, it's Cabo Gary back here. Working on my Ford today. Uh, I'm gonna go down to my buddy's upholstery shop. Let me show you what I got going on. So this interior was a mess when I got the truck. So uh, I pulled it all out. Uh, wiring was bad. And I've been redoing it all. So as you guys can see, I cleaned up door panels. I still need to do something with the switch cover. Uh, but I redid this trim. Got a new dash pad there, and it's all painted. I've still got to put a door lock actuator in that door, and put the door panel on, and that screw there is stripped out, so I got to do something with an insert or something up there. But yeah, it's uh, coming out pretty good. This dash does have some cracks in it. I'm going to do a video probably tomorrow. Uh, I tried JB welding it, and I think it held okay. But I am going to put the Metro doubled in dash in here. And I just want it strong. So I bought some sheet metal that I'm going to make a plate that goes in there. So I don't have to worry about that ever having a problem. Uh, also the ashtray where it goes, the screw holes are broken out too. So I got to do that. And after that, everything up from the floor will be done in the interior. Uh, I'm pretty happy about that. So let's look at this dash pad. So here's my dash pad. It's actually pretty good on this side. There's a little crack there. The big one's there. Um, I'm going to go up there and see what I can do. I'm going to try grinding it smooth, filling the gaps, and then uh, covering it. See what I could come up with. Uh, I'll bring you guys along for on the way might work might not work we will time will be the tail on that if it doesn't work i'm gonna put a cover lay dash cover on it uh and go from there okay guys i'm gonna sand out this here uh and this one here i'm gonna try filling it with bondo and see how this works uh they got music playing in there so i'm gonna do probably a time lapse of sanding it out spreading some bondo but uh i'll be back here and there to talk about it okay guys so i used this u-poly body filler i just sanded and filled the low spots just waiting for that to harden up uh, i'm gonna sand it down see what we come up with hmm. just sanding it down now so I did this side off camera, so this is nice and smooth for a vinyl wrap. I'm gonna do this one now. Okay, I got the glue all tacky. Now we gotta put them together. Let's see how this goes.
So, pretty happy. Here's the piece. A little bit of wrinkle there I'll work on. But, uh, yeah, right here I didn't sand it right, so the bondo comes down a little bit. This corner looks good. This would have to be done different if you're not putting a double din kit in. Uh, the material just won't stretch enough to get in there. But, yeah. I'm pretty happy with it. I think it'll look pretty good back in the truck. Let me guys, what, let me know what you guys think of it, and uh, I'll be back when I'm putting it in. Well, I rolled it with the dynamite roller, and I got most of the little divots out, so it looks better. There's still a little thing here that I think that was from my body work, unfortunately. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Well. I'll catch you on the next one. Well, guys, here it is back in the truck. And that's that wood grain that I wrapped. really like how that came out. You can see a little Bondo mess up I had there. But this is going to go here. i got to cut the dash. And then it fits that double din radio. So uh, that's going to cover it all up. So uh, that's going to be probably tomorrow video. I'll get that done. But I think it'll look pretty good once that's in there. Uh, I think it'll hide pretty much everything. Uh, I didn't realize that this doesn't go back as far. So those corners might be seen. I'll have to see between this and the bezel on the radio if it's going to cover it enough. Or if I'm going to have to do something. But boy, it's nice not having one of those that's cracked this i painted this but unfortunately there's some debris there i didn't see so i gotta clean that off and touch up that area and then uh get that installed uh still quite a bit of work to do but man is it looking better pretty happy with how it's coming out well and as you can see i just have a set of reader glasses on because i melted my other ones that was kind of a bummer. That was uh, totally my stupid fault. But anyways, life goes on. Uh, luckily, I'm gonna have a nice dash to look at. So uh, I catch you guys on the next one. And thank you guys as always for watching. Don't forget to hit the like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff please for me. It really helps the channel grow. And uh, I'm gonna work on getting videos more regularly uh, I'm hoping to get two a week up, so uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one.